how is it already the spring Sephora sale? Hey guys, my name is Krisha. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we're going to be talking about in pretty good detail all of the products that I want to recommend for you guys during this sale. Of course, I'm not saying you should be buying all of these products that I'm recommending, but if there's certain categories that you're not really sure maybe which direction you should go, then I feel like this video is here to help you guys decide what products maybe you wanna dish out some extra cash on. I'll be posting a get ready with me using all of these products in action next. So probably in the next two or three days, it will not be a talk through video. It's gonna be literally these products being used to create this look. I think it'll be helpful to see them in action. Right, so without further ado, let's get straight into my recommendations for this year's spring Sephora VIB sale. All right, let's get started. So I have products pretty much from every main makeup category. I have a couple of just random products as well. I'm not gonna go into too much of like skincare or anything like that because that is so, so personal, I feel, and individualized. But I do, of course, highly recommend stocking up on any products that you may feel you're gonna kind of run low on in the next six months because this sale usually rolls around only twice a year. So if there are any products that you wanna stock up on, skincare or otherwise, definitely do that during this sale. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about products I think will be universally loved and flattering and easy to use. Let's get cozy because this is going to be a little bit of a long one. Let's start off with base. I am absolutely in love with this combination. This foundation from Dior, the Forever Matte Foundation that came out early this year is just something else. It has blown all the other foundations out of the water. It's too good to be true. It is definitely more on the natural finish side, slightly matte, but honestly, it's very skin-like. I wouldn't really call this a super, super matte or oil controlling foundation. I do have a full review and I will link that down below. It is just something special and I feel like this foundation could be universally loved. I have dry, slightly combination skin and it works perfect on me. I don't feel any tightness. I don't feel any dryness throughout the day. But equally on my T-zone where I do get a bit oily, I don't feel overly greasy. I just feel like your natural oils do start to peek through you know, into the day and it just leaves the most kind of like beautiful, pristine, just how you did your makeup look by the end of the day. And then equally special is the Dior Forever Concealer. This is not a new product. This came out, I think, almost like two years ago now. And it is just really, really good. I like to use this all over just, you know, as a base without even using foundation some days. It has a long and flat doe foot applicator on it. And I like to just dab this on the areas where I do need coverage and blend it out if I don't want to wear foundation. So some days where I'm just at home with my girls or if I'm going to work and I don't want anything too crazy as a base, this just works beautifully if you want to just touch up those under eye areas, any dark spots around the nose, any blemishes, blend those out. Obviously you'd have to get a shade that matches your skin. So I have two N in both of them and that way you can use this as sort of your very light base on days you don't want to wear a foundation. So absolutely stunning combination. Don't be afraid of it if you have drier skin. It is so, so comfortable to wear. I just think these two products are like literally number one in their particular category. First up, we have a brow pen and I have used quite a few brow pens. I've tried the Benefit, the three kind of prong one. I've tried the NYX one, which is really, really fine tipped, but it's just lacking in pigmentation, I feel. Like some batches are good. I've gotten some lot numbers that don't draw the ink really well into the pen. And this one has just been so consistent no matter what. It is the brow pen from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have it in medium brown, which is a little bit dark on me. It is fine tipped, but it's quite a firm brush. And so you're not gonna get that floppiness. You're gonna be able to just really like quickly and lightly brush on your hair strokes. It lasts all day, like with all ABH products for the brows. And it has a little bit of a roller ball, so you can just kind of mix up the product as, as you go. I really, really love this brow pen so, so much. The only thing I would say is don't store it with the ink flowing down because it can start coming out a little bit like gloopy, but that's normal because gravity is pulling that ink. Just store it either flat or I like to store it with the tip up and then when I use it, give a bit of a shake and you're good to go. 
And of course, as a sort of clear brow gel, this one cannot be beat. I have to get at least two during the sale. It's the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics. Truly, truly the best brow gel. You can be trying on clothes, you know, at a shopping trip and your brows are still gonna look in place. It is so, so, so good. And I love the brush on it because it has a longer kind of like bristled area or side and then a shorter bristled side. And so I feel you can kind of get whatever amount of product you want on your brows. I like to use the longer bristles and just kind of brush them through and it sets everything in place. Okay, moving along, it's gonna be eyeshadow, of course. This was a hard one and I'm just gonna stick to one brand because I feel like I could jump from like Huda Beauty to Pat McGrath. I mean, I love those brands as well. For this recommendations video, I wanna stick to Natasha Denona. She has one of the most easy formulas to work with, whether it's her mattes, whether it's her shimmers, I do feel like her formula stands out for just being easy to blend out and quite friendly when it comes to your skill level. You can be a beginner in eyeshadow application and I think you're gonna enjoy her palettes and get a lot of use out of them. Or you can be super, super skilled and of course you're going to get beautiful, beautiful creative looks. So the first palette I like to recommend is one of her mini palettes. This is if you want something small size to store easily to travel with, something budget friendly, you don't wanna spend money on a full size palette, but you want something with good quality and just something you can use every single day, definitely this one. This is the mini nude palette. It is my favorite Natasha Denona mini palette by far. What I love about this is that there's enough shimmers to create interest and all of the shimmers are different. They're all in different tones and they're all equally as beautiful. The metallic payoff is something else with these shimmers. And then it has all you need for mattes. It has a beautiful universally sort of like medium toned crease shade or transition shade. And then it has a beautiful dark shade to enhance the eye look or to create a little bit of a pseudo liner look. It is absolutely spectacular. I love this palette so, so much. It's gotten a lot of use. This is the one I take when I am traveling, which we haven't been. But when I was traveling, this was the palette I packed every single time. Now, of course, the shadows are quite delicate, especially the metallic ones. So be careful because it fell a couple times and it did pseudo shatter. But that's like with all Natasha Denona shadows. You just have to be a little bit careful when it comes to handling. The other two palettes, we're going to go with a midi palette, is the new pastel palette that just came out this year. How could I not include it in this video? I absolutely positively love this palette. I did a review on this one and I will link it down below just recently and it is so easy to use. If you like color but you don't like using color because you find it tricky or just you you know you can't think of color combinations or whatnot which is kind of like me then you're gonna love this because all these colors work so perfectly together the shimmers just a sort of heads up aren't like intensely metallic but they suit the palette and I do feel like they really kind of like complement the nuanced or watercolored effect of the mattes in here all of these perform beautifully for pastel mattes these perform and are quite pigmented which is amazing for pastels i'm in love with this palette and it's perfect for spring like i mean the colors they're perfect so take a look at my video like i said i'll link it down below for all of the details and then for something a little bit more expensive this is gonna be one of her first palettes, if not her first big size palette. It's her star palette. And this is probably my favorite full size Natasha Denona palette. It has absolutely everything you need. This is the one I use today and it has a little bit of everything. It has your warm tones, which you would get in her gold palette. It has those metallics that are just so buttery and intense. It has some topper shades. It has some even more purpley burgundy shades if you wanna go that route. And yet it has enough neutral shades to just be so universally flattering and perfect for everyday looks. You can build up your looks with a lot of the darker shades. 
It has this beautiful special shade here, which is sort of duochrome. I absolutely love this palette. And if I had to keep probably one Natasha Denona palette, I really do feel like this would be it. It is a little bit more expensive. I think it's in the $200 range Canadian. But if you're looking to invest in a Natasha Denona palette and you just want to have like that one palette that you can use absolutely every single day, this would be it. Her brand doesn't go on sale here in Canada very often because we don't really have easy access to her main website, her online store that's strictly kind of out of the US, US dollars. And so if there's 20% off a brand like Natasha Denona, I say take advantage of it. Okay, moving along, we're gonna do mascara because I am just still blown away by this mascara. It made my top mascara for last year, even though it did come out, I think in 2019, or 2020, I think 2020. This is the Bite Upswing Mascara. It is definitely a potentially disastrous mascara. Let me explain. It has a massive, massive brush, like massive. You know what I mean? It's hourglass, but it's, it's quite large. Product does accumulate on the bottom, not gonna lie. Right on that bottom there, you do get accumulation of product. But that being said, if you just take it out, and as you're taking it out, if you just brush that one side up against the edge so you don't have that accumulation and you go in just gently, one or two coats, you are going to have the most lifted, voluminous lashes known to man. It is so, so spectacular. Obviously, you'll see this in action in my next video with my, you know, recommendation, get ready with me. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake stays on all day. It keeps your lashes super lifted all day. It almost looks like you have a lash lift when you wear this. You can build it up, but that being said, of course, the more you build it up, the more heavy looking your lashes are going to be, but they won't feel heavy. The waxes in here are so lightweight that for this type of lash look, it feels super comfortable to wear all day you guys have to get this bronzer. If you don't have one of the Christian Dior Forever bronzers, you need one of these bronzers. They are not overly, what's the word? Extravagant? The formula isn't, it's not extravagant. I mean, the compact is. The compact's extravagant. It is really something else, definitely. So I'll give it that. But once you open it and you look at the formula, I don't know. It, to me, it kind of looks dry. To me, it kind of looks underwhelming almost clay-like, but once you put this on, it's just magic because it gives you that almost non-makeup, non-bronzer product look. It is that lightweight. It literally looks like you don't have any makeup on. It just gives you that color. The shade number four gives you that definition, which is what I used first as a sort of contour shade. It's a little bit more light, cool toned, and it's quite a sheer formula. So you can just build it up as much as you need to. And I love that about bronzer. I don't like being uber delicate and surgical with my bronzers. I wanna be able to go in with a brush and just kind of like keep adding as I need to and working in sheer layers. And this formula lets you do that. Like I said, it's lightweight. It doesn't look like makeup. It sits on the skin so, so beautifully. Stunning, stunning. If you like shimmer or shine your bronzer though, this is not it. This is definitely just more of that like everyday skin-like bronzer and the compact like what? Again, we'll do another look. Crazy beautiful. All right, blush, you guys. Where's my blush? So lost, so dazed and confused. Patrick Ta Duo Blushes. I have it in the palette, but this palette came out just this spring in all the individual shades. So you can get any of these shades in a full size now, which is absolutely amazing because these two here, my goodness, the most perfect bright pops of color for spring and summer. And this one here is just so natural and almost like gives you that pseudo tan or sunburnt cheek effect. Any of these shades would be universally flattering because the pigmentation on them is so, so insane. It's a sheer formula in the powder part, but so pigmented. So again, it's very lightweight. My makeup today looks very natural because all of these products just sit on the skin in such a light and natural way. 
So be careful because it is pigmented, but you can blend it out and it still looks very sheer. You top it up with a sponge into the cream portion and that just gives you that very, very dewy kind of like glazed cheek effect. If you love blush, you need to try one of these blushes. I have lots of <laughs> favorite blush formulas, but this is definitely one of them. And something that you can't really get anywhere else, like this is strictly at Sephora, so something to keep in mind for the sale because it doesn't usually happen often where you can get that discount off Patrick Ta. All right, we're gonna do a highlighter and another brand that really is just exclusive to Sephora as far as I know, and that's Makeup by Mario. I'm not really into a lot of his products in his line. I haven't tried a ton because they seem to be out of stock all the time, but I do want to dive a little bit more into his line. I hope it's not being discontinued. I just think they need to restock it. If you can get your hands on one of his highlighters, I would highly, highly recommend it. I have it in the lightest shade, which is opal, and it just gives just the most sheer glossy effect to the skin. Yes, there is almost like a bit of a micro glitter, like a touch, and I don't like micro glitter, but with this, I don't know, it doesn't seem to matter because the formula is so transparent that the micro glitter doesn't become intense or gaudy or doesn't enhance any kind of texture on the skin. It's quite an emollient but sheer formula and it just gives you that glossy effect. I want to get it in the next shade up, which is Pearl. And his shade range is beautiful because it literally covers all skin tones, all ranges. There's a shade for absolutely everyone. He has done a wonderful job with these highlighters and they're so underrated and only at Sephora. So take advantage of the sale for sure. We're winding down to a lip. I love this combination. And again, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk, the best lip liner I think ever. If you can get 20 off, get it. I think it's a very universally flattering lip shade as well. And it has a special wax in it that just is able to sit outside of the lip line and still look very natural. So if you wanna enhance your lip line a little bit, that is the lip liner formula to do it with because it just sits so beautifully on the skin on your lips as well as just if you wanna enhance it so the skin on your face. And last but not least, two lip products. Lip Glow by Christian Dior amazing favorite. If you can get a discount on these, it's amazing. They have some exclusive to Sephora shades and that's why I do recommend the lip glows during the sale. Some of these shades you can't get at like Shoppers Drug Mart where I like to get a lot of my other products. So definitely check out lip glows from Christian Dior, the best tinted lip balm, lipstick, natural lipstick formula ever. And then if you're going to get 20% off, I would say go for a Tom Ford lipstick. They're not really worth the price. Okay. They're not because they are, I think, 70 Canadian. But I feel like this is something that every makeup lover should have in their collection. Just one lipstick from Tom Ford. I have it in Pink Dust, which is quite universally flattering, I feel. It's a nice nudie pink shade. Um, on me, it's quite a medium pink, but I think on darker skin tones, it would be a perfect nudie pink. I don't know, it's a sight to behold. Like having this, you know, taking it out of your purse when you're out and just refreshing your lipstick, it's just special. It's a very, very special, luxurious product that never goes on sale. Like this will never go on sale anywhere else, really. I mean, maybe Nordstrom here and there. If you can get the 20% off, Tom Ford lipstick is just that. I don't know, just something special to splurge on. Last but not least, we're gonna go over some non-makeup products. We're kind of winding down here. I'm gonna suggest the Sol de Janeiro. Oh, this is so good. This is their shower gel. This scent going into spring and summer is just something special. It smells like vacation. And so if you are not able to go on vacation, Oh, but you want to feel like you are on vacation, definitely get something in this line, whether it's the bum bum cream, boom boom, <laughs> boom boom bum bum cream, whether it's the shower gel, the body spray, or they have actually a fragrance now. I just think it's one of those products that really makes, I don't know, it just makes me happy. It makes me happy to smell this as the season gets warmer and as we get into summer. And last but not least, a hair product. This is from Kerastase. I'm gonna have to pick up a backup because I feel like I go through one of these bottles a year. It is the most beautiful heat protectant that you can put on your hair. 
just as it's towel dried. So what I like to do with this is I like to put on some of my different serum I have from Davines. That's to kind of like comb out my hair. And then as my hair is combed out, just before I go in for a blow dry, I put one or two pumps of this product in my hair, kind of just emulsify it all over, comb it through, and it's good to go. I don't get frizz, I don't get flyaways, my hair feels like it's protected from the heat, and if I don't use this, that's when I notice how good it is. It's one of those products where you just, you miss it. You miss not having it when it's gone. And I do feel like it would be good for all hair types. I have quite a bit of hair, but it's very fine and it works beautifully. And I think it would work beautifully or equally well in more coarse or thicker hair as well. Yes, it does have some silicones in it. So if you're anti-silicone, then it's a no-go but the formula is very creamy. It doesn't feel super slippy or silicone-y at all. I absolutely love that product and I will be repurchasing it myself. Hey guys, that is it for my Sephora VIB spring sale recommendations for 22. Let me know, what are you guys getting this sale? What do you recommend? Let me know your thoughts down below. Also, stay tuned for my try on or get ready with me using all of these products. I'm going to post that next, so probably in the next few days or so. Definitely subscribe to my channel to get notified of that video coming up. You'll get to see all these products in action to create this look. Happy shopping, you guys. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.